Hey everyone, I'm working on a little YouTube video project and for that I decided to auction off the coolest disc I have. This is a one-of-a-kind Sky God that's dark blue and dark green and has a triple foil stamp, white, black and silver. I put a normal blue Sky God next to this one for you to see the unique color. This disc hasn't been thrown ever and is in great condition. No ink, but I will sign it if the buyer wants me to. I'll ship the disc to the highest bidder at that time. The money will not be going in my pocket, but will be donated to a good cause that I haven't decided yet. Probably Kids Disc Golf or You Play Disc Golf. Let's find a new home for this beauty. What's up everyone? Welcome back to day four of Vlogmas. We did it and this is a very special video and I'm so excited to share this funny crazy sad exciting story with you guys so sit back and enjoy here is the story of selling the most expensive disc mania disc of all time i made this post not really knowing what was going to happen i've had this disc at home for about two years now after jaime gave it to me as a gift he's the main guy that stamps the discs at the disc mania store in colorado so if you've ever ordered a disc from there, this man has most likely stamped it for you. At first I wasn't even sure if this disc was worth anything, or if anyone would be willing to pay a significant amount for it. But ever since I got it, I wondered what it would go for on the Discmania Collectors Facebook group, and if people would get excited about it. And there was only one way to find out. This group has over 11,000 members, so I figured, let's give it a try, and maybe make a fun video out of it. Little did I know what was about to happen. I woke up the next morning and the highest bid was already over $600 by Marcus. This had already exceeded my expectations and my mind was slightly blown. Only minutes later, the next offer of $700 rolled in and this was the first time I saw the name. Michael Küchenmeister. I'm just gonna pronounce it the German way because I guess that's the proper way. Michael was willing to pay $700 for one disc. What followed was a battle between Marcus and Michael, going back and forth, outbidding each other time after time. Once Michael threw $900 on the table, Marcus tapped out and I thought it was over. What happened next was far beyond surprising to me. Cinco decided to step in and offer four digits for this disc. In my wildest dreams, I didn't expect to see $1,000 offered for any disc. I know discs have sold for crazy amounts in the history of our sport, but this was turning into something crazy. I almost feel like Michael had answered this offer within seconds, throwing $150 on top. Quickly topped by Cinco, and just as quickly back to Michael. These two legends went back and forth all the way to $1,800. At this point, I was almost certain I was being trolled. There was just no way this was real and I was being pranked by the Discmania community. It almost felt immoral to let someone spend that much hard-earned money on one piece of plastic. Nothing seemed to stop these two guys and Michael hit us with the two Gs. $2,000 for one disc. You've got to be kidding me. At this point, we only had about 30 minutes left in the auction, but these guys weren't done yet. Cinco outbidding Michael and Michael instantly snapping back. My brain was melting and I stopped even trying to think about what was going to happen and what was going on. With about 10 minutes to go, Michael posted an offer of $2,750. That's about $2,500 more than I was hoping for when I first had the idea of making this video. At this point, Cinco tapped out and said, looks like I have to make my charitable donation another day. Luckily, it's going to a good cause. And so it was over. The auction ended and the sky got sold for a record-breaking $2,750. Now it was time to make sure this was real and Michael would pay for the disc. I reached out to him and he replied instantly and with all the confidence I needed to hear. A simple, yes sir. I was so thankful for his offer and mind blown that I promised him I'd throw some extra stuff into the box with the Sky God. 
I'm here packing together the package I'm getting ready for Michael who bought the triple foil Sky God for $2,750 and of course I can't just send him one disc. So I dug through my stash a bit and put together a slightly more attractive box starting with of course I still had a Skyrider in the stash I signed that for him, so that's going straight into the box I'm making for him. Up next, I have a brand new, awesome looking rainbow foil, Crescent Falcon 2. These are actually kind of hard to find nowadays. I didn't sign this one just because maybe he wants to throw it, so I thought that's a cool addition to the box as well. Then I found this one. I left him some notes on some of the discs, and this is one of the prettiest Doombird 2s that at least I got. It's like a very nice little rim, almost like a halo disc. And yellow orange swirls, also not signed of course, I mean it's an eagle disc at the end of the day, but gold stamp going in the box. And then this one might be really special, this is actually a prototype method. I'm pretty sure no one else out there has them but me. Left him a note on the back telling him what this is. And this is also a cool, like, pretty rare golden color for a, for a method. So this is actually a slightly different mold than what the production run ended up being. So this one should be special. I felt so in need to give him something special that I actually gave him one of my brand new, fresh unthrown, signed Doombird twos which has always been my favorite run of doom birds and i only have like three or four of these left so i hope he likes that one and then of course i wanted to retire my putter from the bag i think i'm switching back to p2s this is not official yet but um i'll be doing another video on that situation later but here we go, this is my tournament used P1 that I used for pretty much for the entire 2020 season or at least after the first two or three tournaments. And uh, this has made and missed a lot of putts. So might be a cool thing to have, my number one putter. I also threw into the box a nice little Azot pin that I had lying around. Sky God sticker of course. I also upgraded this box with the Sky God sticker, just to let him know. And I have a cool Lazard goat towel. Check out the goat towels, everyone. Greatest of all towels. Gotta have one, pretty awesome. And then of course, last but not least, here she is, or he, triple foil Sky God, which came in this dark green blue and he asked me to sign this disc, so I have to stop and get a white marker. And he wanted me to sign it right here under the white wing in white. Um, so I'm gonna do that before I bring it to the post office, but of course this is gonna be bagged up. Make sure there's no added scratches that there already are. And I found this bubble wrap as well. Just for some extra protection, put this on the box, boom. $2,750 box right here. Man, I'm so in shock, but he definitely put a lot of, a lot of smiles on kids' faces and I think it'll do a lot of good. So, man, what a fun project. All right, let's go sign that disc and bring it to the post office. This might be the most nervous and nerve-wracking signature of my life. I don't think I've ever signed a disc that apparently is worth $2,750. Why do silver markers just always suck? That's just really bad. Does shaking help? This is the final test. After this, I'm going for it. Oh my God, you can see how wet it is. All right. This, this disc is so scribbled full of crap now. All right, so this is how we do it. Oh. 
Holy shit. Oh my god, no way, dude. I ruined the disc. What in the actual world? It was at this moment that he knew he messed up. I had absolutely no clue how to tell Michael what happened. I felt like the biggest idiot in the world. So I quickly edited together what happened to show him exactly how it went down. I messaged him on Facebook to let him process the whole thing before giving him a call. Michael, I'm so happy to meet you and how's it going? It's going really good. I'm happy to meet you too. You're my favorite pro, so cool moment for sure. Dude, thanks so much. I mean, what were your first thoughts when I sent you the message, what happened, and you saw the picture, and uh, yeah, how did you even deal with that? Um, well, actually, I just woke it up, so I rolled over, I looked at my phone. Oh no. And I saw the messages from you, I kind of noticed there was a lot, so I scrolled through it, and I just thought, this is, this is a lot, I didn't really read into it, and kind of got up and woke up for a minute. And when I got up and I actually read into it, I just started laughing so hard. My first reaction to you was my, my real reaction. Yeah. It didn't really irritate me, I wasn't upset with you, it was just really funny, you know? I mean, I guess people, especially with how popular you're getting now, kind of see you as this amazing person who doesn't make any mistakes and is just perfection in a lot of people's eyes but it was i mean you're a human you did a human thing it was really fun so yeah i mean i sent it straight the video to discmania and straight to my boss and people were just like shaking their heads going they felt like they they know me a bit better like off of all the like cameras and stuff so they were like that's such a simon thing to do so i guess yeah, it felt really unlucky, but yeah, at the end of the day, you said you were so cool about it and like, thank you so much for that. And you just said like, like man, like stuff happens. So um, you kind of like put a positive twist almost to it, which was awesome. I mean, I can show the screenshots from our conversation. Obviously, I'm going to show the video how it happened, which ended up being pretty hilarious even though it was sad at the time like you kind of said to me it's gonna be putting a lot of discs into a lot of kids hands so it was really more than just buying one disc it was a lot of discs and it was growing the sport and that's what we're all trying to do and you know it, there's nothing bad about it all right okay last question i think the question that everyone is dying to know why why would you go on the facebook group and say, I'm gonna buy this disc for $2,750. Like, how do you get to that point? Well, I've spent more than that on discs in the past six months. Really? I've had, yeah, I've bought a lot of discs in the past six months. So, I, when I saw it, it wasn't really a matter of how expensive it was gonna get. I guess with certain limitations, I only had so much money. But when I saw it, I recognized it because I had just watched your YouTube video going through your whole disc collection within the past couple weeks. Mm -hmm. So I didn't notice your name at the top of the post first. I caught the photo and that's what caught my eye. And I knew what disc it was. I knew it was yours. I saw your name at the top of the post and I, simple enough just decided it was going to be my disc. Wow. Absolute um, legend. I yeah. mean, definitely awesome. So from me, thank you. And I think uh, a lot of people are going to watch this and be like, Man, 
Awesome Thank story. Thank you as well for doing that. Obviously, that's a, that was a very unique and special disc to you. It was something that was given to you that was pretty cool. So, I mean, take that away from me and put that back on you. You could have sold that and kept a lot of money, obviously, and you chose to do something really neat with it. So, All right, man. Well, I hope you enjoy the disc. And uh, how I don't know. Any, I've never been to South Dakota, but I hopeful, hopefully I can swing by next year if things uh, get better and uh, we can go throw it. <laughs> Absolutely, if you ever need a caddy in Minnesota, just let me know. All right, dude, take it easy. You have a good one. Bye. I ended up bringing the Sky God plus the other discs to the post office, shipped it out to South Dakota. I donated half the money to you Play Disc Golf and they were extremely thrilled. And now we're here. Here we have the other half $1,375 and these are going to be going to kids disc golf and the reason I have this in cash is because I'm going to be on the Nick and Matt show live in studio today and Matt Graham is actually the guy. He runs kids disc golf so I'm going to hand him over $1,300 live on the podcast today so see you there. Alright guys we are live in studio at the Nick and Matt show. Welcome to vlog everyone. What up Whoa. everybody? I don't know if you have seen the disc I sold on the Discmania Collectors page. Have you heard anything about that? I have not heard anything about that. Is this a vlog you put out today? I'm putting it out tomorrow. Tomorrow, no. But I sold the disc about four days ago. Okay, I have not. And the disc sold for, guess. Um, someone wrote a question in the chat tonight, a certain dollar amount, something sold, but I don't know. Uh, I'm going to guess $1,000. Okay, the disc sold for $2,750. Wow! One disc. <laughs> this is half. Let me see that. This is, is this... half of the money. I donated $1,375 to you play disc golf. Is this, is this happening where you're handing this? And in the name of Simon Lazat Vlogs, I'm handing you $1,375 Holy for cow! disc golf. Holy cow. So this is interesting, guys, because I'm Nick and Matt show, yeah. but now I'm transforming right now. This is incredible. All I can say is, Simon, I have to give a shout out to Simon because this has happened time and time again where he has sold his bag or auctioned it off and it's went to charitable causes. What this guy says is a hundred percent what he means. People say he's the most humble. He's also the most generous. I believe it. Yeah. Simon, thank you here. very, <laughs> very much. This is, okay. guys, this was not planned at all. Like, legit straight up, I'm Simon. Glad, I'm, I'm glad Nick didn't spoil it, because Nick knew. Wow, so all I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you. We So, right off the top of my head, I can tell you that this is gonna support players, junior players, who want to take it to the next level. Like they want to, and it helps them to do that. Um, so your generosity has done that time and time again. And we thank you very much. Doing that on the Nick and Matt show is, um, I, <laughs> I'm taken back a little bit, but it's really cool. I'm, I'm speechless to that sense. So thank you very much, Simon. All right, Matt, you know, it's my pleasure. And uh, thanks Michael for buying that disc for that amount of money. And man, it feels good. So back to the studio and let's wrap it up. Wow, good morning. It is Friday morning now. I finally got all of this piece together. This was probably one of the longest projects it took me to edit just because of all the screenshots and pieces and get the time frame properly. But man, what a journey. Good times. Thank you everyone involved. Discmania and Michael, absolutely killer group of people there. And all I can say is I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed. Fun project. And I'm about to sit down with one of the most legendary Disc Golf Valley players of all time. And I challenge him to a little nine hole match. So look out for that tomorrow. And until then, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Peace.